Hi, my name is Taylor and welcome to Taylor's Tracks Yoga. Today we have a really quick 15 minute sequence to open your heart chakra. So if you just want a little bit of a flow, you want to feel more love come into your life and for yourself, this is a really great way to get warm quickly and to just feel more open in your chest, which is an area that quite often people tend to collapse as they hunch over. So to get started today, you don't need any props other than your mat. Come to begin at the top of your mat, mountain pose, your feet hip width distance, and bring your right hand over your heart, your left hand over your right. Close your eyes. Feel all four corners of your feet ground into the mat. Feel how solid you become when you evenly begin to spread your weight across the bottoms of your feet. Have a slight micro bend in your knees, your tailbone is slightly tucked under, and you feel your ribcage move away from your pelvis as you lengthen your spine and grow taller. Reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling. And when you feel that length, settle there. Become grounded and set an intention for this quick class. How do you want to feel? When you have that intention, gently flutter your eyes open. Inhale, reach your hands up all the way. Exhale, hands come through heart centers and forward fold with a straight spine. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands towards your shins, straight spine as your head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, feel your sit bones lengthen towards the back of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, last time. Feel your spine lengthen with each inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands on the mat. Step back into a high plank. Take a moment here to make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Your heels are pushing back into an imaginary wall. Your bum is in line with your spine. Gently rock back and forth a little bit. Get those ankles, wrists, shoulders all warmed up. Come to stillness just for one breath. Inhale, rock forward just a little bit, come down to your knees, untuck your toes, and allow yourself to come all the way down to the mat slowly. Keeping your hands where they are, push into the tops of your feet so that your knees come off the ground to engage your lower body. Inhale, lengthen your spine and curl just a little bit off the mat for our first cobra. Exhale, come back down two more times, just like that. Inhale to lengthen, come up a little bit higher. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lengthen this time. Hover your hands off the mat. Exhale, all the way back down. Tuck your toes, option to come through plank or on your knees, and then back to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Feel your sit bones shine towards the back of the room. Feel the length in the back of your legs. Have a slight bend in your knees. Maybe walk your dog out. Whatever you have to do to get any stiffness out and get ready to flow. Inhale, generously bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat, and take a big step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Have a slight back bend at the top. Exhale, hands come through heart center and go straight back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into high plank once more. Inhale, bring your shoulders past your wrists. Option to bring your knees down or to lower this time from a straight plank. 
Inhale, this time, full cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes and shoot your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take one deep breath here. Exhale, ground into your mat. Inhale, roll your body forward, allowing your head to come last into a plank. From here, drop your hips, have a slight micro bend in your elbows as you stop trying your chest forward for a deep back bend and chest opening. Maybe even look up just slightly. Exhale, tuck your chin, lift your hips up and back. Take a moment here and just notice how that felt. That was a big bend. Inhale, sweep your right foot up and back towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hips. Do whatever you need to do here, maybe big circles with your knee, little circles with your ankle. Get yourself a little bit more warm. Come to stillness with your knee bent, your hips open. Inhale, float your shoulders so that they're over your wrists. Exhale, drop your right foot behind you as you bring your bum down to the ground to prepare for wild thing. Inhale, push your hips up towards the sky as you reach your right hand back towards the front of your mat. You're on your right toes and you're grounding through your left foot. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to a three-legged dog. You don't have to go straight there, <laughs> just as you need. Inhale, feel your leg lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. And plant your right foot between your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms behind you and bring your body up so that you're in a runner's lunge. You want your left heel to be completely in line to create one line from your heel all the way towards the tips of your head. Your arms lengthen beside you, they're strong. Even your fingers are engaged. Your right hip is pulling back, your left forward. Your chest is open. Bring your hands towards your heart center. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist towards the right and place your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Inhale to feel your spine lengthen. Exhale to feel yourself twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale, climb your twist, sweep your arms up, high crescent lunge, just a quick baby back bend. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Step back into a high plank, go through a vinyasa flow or come to downward dog. When we meet in downward dog, take two deep breaths here. Come back to stillness and the intention that you set at the beginning of this class. Inhale, sweep your left foot high. Exhale, open up your hips. Drop your right foot towards your, your left foot, towards your left bum cheek. Do whatever circles you need to. Warm up that hip. Come to stillness. Inhale, float your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, drop your left foot behind you. Come down to your bum for just a second. Exhale, push into your left foot and your right hand as you reach your hips up towards the sky. It's a wild thing. Deep inhale. Exhale, coming back to your three-legged dog. However you need to do that to adjust. Inhale, feel your leg lengthen. Exhale, nose to knee. Step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, coming up to runner's lunge. Left knee is stacked over the left ankle. 
Your right heel is pushing back into an imaginary wall as you create that long line. Inhale, hands come towards the heart center. Exhale, hook your right elbow <laughs> to the outside of your left knee. Deep inhale here. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Remembering to push strongly into both feet. This will help stabilize you. Inhale, come out of your twist. Lift your hands high. Knee back bend. Exhale, coming back down to the ground. Step back into high plank. Push your hips back into downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Inhale, ripple your body forward into high plank. Exhale, micro bend your elbows, drop your hips, keeping your toes tucked. So you shine your chest forward. Notice if there's any difference here from the first one. Tuck your chin, lift your hips up and back. Gently bring your knees back down to the ground so that you're on all fours with your shoulders stacked over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Walk your hands forward and allow your chest to come down to the ground. Place your forehead on the ground or your chin for a really deep heart opener. This is puppy pose. Remember to breathe deeply here. This is a big one for a lot of people. So if you're a little bit uncomfortable, that's okay. If it's too much uncomfort, back out. Inhale, lift yourself up, walk your hands back. Come to sit back on your heels and bring your hands over your heart, just like how we started. Close your eyes. Take a moment to reflect on the movement that you just did. Notice the beating of your heart, how fast it is, how different it is from the beginning. Gently bring your bum towards the ground as you kick your ankles out and come to lay on your back with your legs extended. Take your hands and lift up each bum cheek by rolling onto your hips and tucking your hands under your bum. This will help keep you balanced and weighted towards the ground. Next, you're going to bend your elbows and walk them underneath your back as much as you can so that your chest really opens up towards the sky. And then drop your head back. This is fish. This one also may feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you've never done it before. Remember to keep grounding into your heels and your elbows. Your chest is opening and breathe into where you're feeling that tension or uncomfortable. Gently walk your elbows back out. Allow yourself to come all the way back down. Remove your hands from under your bum. Bring your knees to your chest and give yourself a nice big hug, maybe a gentle rock from side to side. That was a very quick and very warm flow. Grab the outside edges of your feet and point the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling for happy baby. 
your knees coming to either sides of your middle and either come to stillness or just rock ever so slightly. Stay here for as long as you need or when you're ready, bring your feet back together, let go of them and allow your legs to extend, your arms come out by your sides, palm facing up into the final resting pose of the practice, Shavasana. Notice all the points of your body that are touching the ground. Notice your heartbeat, how it's slowing down. Does your chest feel more open? Are you more relaxed? And when you're ready, gently send sparks of energy throughout your body by beginning to wiggle your toes and your fingers rolling your ankles and your wrists and reaching your hands up above your head for a big stretch. Exhale, let it go. Roll to whatever side is comfortable into a fetal position. Your extended arm on the ground supporting your head. Keeping your eyes closed, push yourself up into a cross-legged seated position and bring your hands to your heart center. Sit with a straight spine and notice all the space that you feel down the length of your spine and in your chest. Bow your forehead so that it meets the tip of your fingers and thank yourself for showing up for yourself today, for getting on the mat, for doing this act of self-love that benefits your mind, your body, and soul. Bring your head back up. Bring your prayer hands towards your third eye. The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Together, we bow forward and say, Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. It was an honor to share your energy, even though this was digital. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and that you're feeling a little bit more open, a little bit taller, a little bit more love.